The Immortal John Hancock here with the Atari VCS update. What has it been doing the last six months? I've been an owner and I was a backer on the Indiegogo back two and a half years ago. And I'm here to talk about the last six months as a lot has happened. And I think we left off with, you know, Atari 50 being released on the Atari VCS and a lot of questions about um, the future of the the hardware and there still is questions about the future of the hardware but a lot of people thought it was being discontinued and atari wasn't cons wasn't going to be supporting it anymore and none of that is true uh you know atari uh, discontinued the relationship from what i read online with their manufacturer as i think they were on a bunch of stock i think they have plenty of hardware systems to still sell and that's why they ended that relationship. I don't know any of the details. That's just a speculation. But from what I read officially from their statements, that's what I got from it. But anyways, uh, you know, Atari in the last six months has released 18 games. 18 games have been published on its platform. And I think that's great. I think it's been robust and there's been lots of variety with some of the releases with many more plans. So it's really nice to not only see that Atari is supporting this hardware, which is fairly obscure. This is not going to sell like the Switch. It's kind of in this weird, like, you know, OUYA 2.0. I think that's a fair judgment of it, where it's a platform that offers lots of indie stuff. It doesn't really have an iconic game to say it's an exclusive but there's enough games on there. You can uh, use it as a mini PC, which I've done, and that is actually fairly robust. And you can add uh, you know, an SSD hard drive to it. You can add RAM to it. You can, you can mod it. You can run emulators on it uh, with some modding. But really, I'm here just to talk about what do I think of it overall? Where does it go from here? And, you know, my biggest complaint with uh, the Atari VCS is I think it didn't really have an identity. And I think they're really starting to change that. Is it there yet? Not yet. But I think they've done a lot of things right. And I'm going to jump into this. So Orange Pixel Games has continued to offer its library on this platform. Residual is a good example. Uh, Gunslugs 2, Heroes of Loot 2. Uh, those are fantastic games, and it's nice to see. It's a perfect, I think, fit for the Atari VCS. And I think if you're looking for, like, high-end 3D games, you're not going to find it on the VCS. So it's capable of some 3D games. Uh, most of it is indie stuff, and that's fine with me as I'm a big indie supporter. And so you also have other games like A Path to the Princess, uh, uh, a puzzle game, uh, footage shown from Steam. Um, and then they got weird stuff like Skinny and Franco. And this is like a, a, an update to a classic computer brawler. And um, boy, it's, 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 uh, it's obscure and weird and violent. Um, and, and I haven't checked it out a ton, but anyways, footage is there. And then you have stuff like Avian Knights, which is kind of like a, like, a, like a take on Joust with more multiplayer functionality. And it looks pretty interesting. And so you have these releases coming along, and it's kind of chugging along. And then, and then Metgan's games, which I did purchase these games, Escape from Popo, and that's kind of a, a really cool uh, take on a classic game. As you know, I, I know many people have really enjoyed that one. And then Doodle Taxi, which to me is like an indie crazy taxi. <laughs> it's just kind of nuts. Um, I did enjoy purchasing that. And then Traffic Mission, which is really tough. That is a super tough game but uh from what i've played a uh, limited amount i have enjoyed it but then i feel like uh you know in the last couple months atari really has started to kind of uh, really identify with what they want to do and i was really excited to see that they got a programmer of the original hero game for activision and uh they are offering alien abduction and that is a kind of a, you definitely can see the nods from Hero in this 2600 game being offered aftermarket game on the Atari VCS. And that really kind of started the ball rolling. And then you had Classics uh, Tower Rubble and Amoeba Jump, which is a fantastic aftermarket game. 
and that is a great fit on the VCS. But that's not just it. That's just like the tip of the iceberg. You know, there's other things uh, that you could say about um, the VCS that makes it pretty unique. Uh, I've talked in the past about Anstream Arcade, which I think is a good fit on the Atari VCS, but it's, it's about the future. Atari's got some things planned. I don't know the details. Some of the things planned are the acquisition. So uh, Atari did purchase Night Dive Studios. That's the big one. They have acquired four different uh, lots and companies of games. Uh, they did go back and buy some of Stern's classic arcade games, including Berserk, which I'm sure they're gonna probably do like a recharge of the Berserk. Nothing announced yet, but I'm sure that's coming. Really excited to see that. One of my favorite Atari 2600 games of all time. Um, Accolade. They bought 100 games from Accolade's uh, previous library. Um, I don't know what I think of that, but I mean, they're going to do something with that. They're not just going to sit on it. And so really cool to see that as well as M Network. But the big one was Night Dive Studios as those are some classic games. Uh, classic computer games as well as Night Dive just did remade System Shock. And I, I did a video on that if you want to check it out. I'd love to see that on the VCS. I'm pretty sure it could probably be able to handle it. I would love to see System Shock. It'd be a day one purchase for me even though I have it on my Steam Deck. So um, I'm in a little different scenario with talking about the VCS because now I'm not just a consumer, I'm a publisher. And if you didn't see, I announced that two of my games that I own distribution rights to, Catacombs of Chaos and Retro Game Quest are now available on the platform. And as an independent publisher, it has been super simple to get my games, especially 2600 games on the platform. And I wanna thank Atari for that. As you know, it has been pretty much a seamless uh, experience. Now. I'm also just offering these at a very reasonable price of $2.99 a piece and, you know, didn't offer these to, to make a bunch of money or to live on. So on my, I, have, I have very clear expectations. These may not sell well at all for me, but I'm really excited about at least offering it on a platform. And, and Atari being so open to that independent market, I think is wonderful. And I encourage other uh, developers uh, or publishers, you know, you want to consider the VCS if you just want to get your get your name out for games, as well as you know they might be open to it. As you know, there's less competition on the VCS, so there might be an easier way where uh, a, a small indie publisher can offer their games and not be in such a crowded marketplace. But anyways, that's not all. Atari has some other things planned. Uh, I don't know the details. I haven't uh, been given any information, but. There's possibly some rumored hardware to come down the road. I have no idea what it's about. My dream would be that it would be hardware to play retro games, whether it's Atari 2600, 7800, uh, even other platforms, Sega, 8-bit, um, Jaguar. I mean, I have dreams of what it could be, but I have, I have no idea what it could be, but hopefully that is coming. And so there is some a plan hardware to be announced. I don't know when, uh, I don't know the details. Uh, all I know is that it could possibly come uh, this year. And so, yeah, and so overall, uh, what do I think of Atari? I think they have done a better job at identifying kind of where, what direction they wanna go, and there's still more games coming. That's what I'm excited about. The next big game that they have, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, Caverns of Mars and Aka R were released this year as well. And those are two games that I covered in previous videos. You can check out my Atari playlist where you can find those games. And those were fantastic releases this last six months as well. And so I'm um, getting back to the future of the Atari uh, VCS. They do have Mr. Run and Jump and that's gonna be offered on multiple platforms. It looks like a cute little Ever Runner and that looks pretty cool, but that's not all. So I'm really excited about Mr. Run and Jump. I'm gonna be uh, purchasing that. Really excited about seeing that. That's their next kind of big game. But the next next things that they're doing too is they're offering actually a 2600 version of this on cartridge. That's right, they're really uh, moving forward with offering 2600 games on physical. I actually have purchased myself a few of them uh, I haven't even opened them up, so I haven't uh, been able to give uh, my review of them. 
They were a hundred bucks a piece. That's pretty expensive, but you know, that's a collectible cool, but you definitely can be able to find, you know, cheaper versions of this if you just want to get original Atari hardware and play it on 2600. But I think that's really cool that they're doing deluxe collector's editions of games. Price is pretty expensive though, and it's sold out. But going back to Atari VCS and Atari in general, I do like the direction that they're going. It still has tons of room of improvement, but I think it's getting actually better. I think uh, having more uh, releases and having better, they seem like they've had better communication about those releases. And you can find out a lot of uh, information. They do have a Discord, as well as on Atari Age, I, I actually visit the Atari VCS sub forum, and that's where I get a lot of my information. As you know, I'm an active member of Atari Age, and I try to use that forum as it's it's a little bit of everything. So that's my update for the Atari VCS. I do think it's getting a little bit better. Um, it has a lot of room for improvement, and I'm excited about to see what is next. I have lots of questions, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.